It's Sheffield United versus Tottenham on the final day with Spurs only needing a point to secure fifth place. Or, you know, worst comes worst, it's sixth. It's Europa League football either way, but we're previewing everything to do with you know, today's game, which is very important for both teams to end the year on a high, you know, despite how the season has gone. So do stay tuned to the very end. Very keen to get your thoughts. <laughs> What's happening people, hope you're all keeping well, let's crack straight into it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, it's free to do so and it helps the channel's content grow and improve so, so close to 2k, let's do it uh, before, yeah, obviously the end of the season, before the end of the day, um, that'd be much, much appreciated. Smash the like button if you like the scene and get involved in the comments because I'm very keen to get your thoughts. But yeah, but from a Spurs point of view, obviously it's, it's been it's been bad, you know, bad results. If you like five losses in the last six, is relegation form conceding so many goals, twelve defeats now in a season, which is is quite a few. But overall, we would have taken fifth for a balls kicked at the start of the season. I'm, I, you know, if you follow me on any social. I've been quite critical of Apostolico, you know, recent performances, results. However, the bigger picture is very very important, and, and that just has to be accepted. But on this game as a whole, you know, we know that Sheffield United are relegated, but we want to. Thank the fans for their loyalty. <laughs> you have to be loyal to be a Sheffield United fan this season. You know, their loyalty throughout this season uh, to constantly turn up and you know because they've constantly battered, especially at home, uh, but also away. Um, yeah, it's not good for them. They, the amount of goals they leaked was it 101 goals or something they've leaked. So it's absolutely bonkers. But in the lineup, what would I change if it was me personally? Uh, it would be Dane Scala up top, Son on the left, uh, and Johnson on the right. That would be my front three. Uh, obviously, Vicaro being goal, the back line would be a bit, bit torn. It probably would just about be Emerson Royale. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it'd be Emerson Royale, left back, and it would be Romero and Van der Ven. Drags in the unlucky one. I thought he had an excellent performance. Eventually, I want to see a back three, but I don't think it's the right time to necessarily experiment now. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong on that. Poro right back. In fact, it could be a good time to experiment. But midfield three, obviously, Ben Scores wasn't happy with coming off. Um, I think he'd done all right. So he'd be in that midfield for me. It'd be Benton Core. Obviously, we know Basuma's out, so it would be Benton Core, Celso, and Madison for me. Quite an attacking-looking midfield, but with nothing to lose really. He's a free hit, and so with Man City, you know, worst comes to worst is we somehow lose this game and, and Chelsea win their game against Bournemouth. Then it, it's sixth rather than fifth. But it's still Europa League football. It's, it's still progress. It'd be frustrating, of course, because we had like a 19-point gap on Chelsea, but you know. A draw will be disappointing, of course, but you know, still secure fifth. I think we expect to go on and push on and win this game. Prediction, I know what Spurs are like. I think that we'll be switched off, focusing on the next season. I think we'll draw the game 2-2, which means we will secure fifth, which is good because I think Chelsea will win their game. Um, maybe not deserve it in what we've seen in recent weeks, but I don't think we we'll quite win this. But we're going to score, there's no doubt about that. So 2-2 with me. Are you more positive than me? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, but we'll, you know, Sheffield United will be interested in the championship next year, so try and monitor that. But thank you very much for watching today's video. It's the last match preview of the season. We have lots of summer content for you, including England, you know, streams, uh, shows, match previews, match reactions. We've got daily Spurs with updates returning. We've got a lot of interviews with, with fans, with club legends. Um, yeah, you've got, got loads of weekly shows every Monday, 7.45 p.m. live on YouTube with the panel continue despite Spurs not playing. So the content will be there in plentiful, but just not yeah, the match reactions and match previews. So thank you very much. Well, it's Spurs point of view anyway. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So let's get to 2K. At the time of recording, we're so, so close. So please help us get over the line. Smash the like button if you want to see and help more people see it. Turn the notifications bell on purely for your own sake to keep up to date with all my content. And do get involved in the comments below. So we're very keen to get your thoughts. Have a fantastic summer. See you very soon. And up the Spurs.